Thank you very much, Shirori. Um, at 10 o'clock this morning, Sarah Marshall began proceedings, and I'm here to represent the other fund of the Medical Research Council, who, with the Wellcome Trust, uh, has provided core support to UK Biobank uh, for uh, well over a decade now. Um, I feel rather like a bookend, actually, propping up a library that's growing uh, almost as we speak, uh, bulging at the seams. What I'd like to do is conclude with one last data slide, if you'll forgive me. Uh, it's been a data-rich day. But I think it illustrates uh, an interesting and important point. What it shows, for those of you at the back, is the uh, growth of publications from 2005 through to the present day uh, to just short of a thousand different papers that have been published describing scientific findings, fascinating insights in biology and clinical medicine, some of which we've heard this afternoon. What it also shows you uh, in diagrammatic form is an estimation of the core funding that's come from the Wellcome Trust and the MRC uh, over that same period of time, uh, racking up to just short of 300 million pounds. And the reason why I'm showing this slide to you is to illustrate the lag. An extraordinary lag of nearly a decade from the initial funding injection to the point at which we're seeing outcomes from this investment. And this to me illustrates something that happened long before I became involved. It illustrates to me the vision of some of the investigators that you've heard speak today. It illustrates the conviction and the courage actually for the funders to support something which was not gonna deliver a return uh, over a short period of time. This wouldn't have worked with traditional response mode funding. And we've learned from this, and because of that, um, we've worked in a different way through UKRI and the Medical Research Council and the Office of Life Sciences to think about how we might uh, look to the future uh, and invest to create an advanced detection of disease cohort that you heard about from John Bell this morning. Um, we need to be patient to see the outcome. So finally, I'd just like to conclude the event by thanking the chairs, uh, the speakers. Uh, it's been fascinating for me to hear about many of the new uh, initiatives, the new discoveries. But we should all thank the half a million people who've given up their time free of charge to become participants in the UK Biobank adventure, if I can call it that. Many of whom are still engaged, involved in ongoing studies such as the imaging that Paul Matthews described to us just a few minutes ago. I sense actually that we're only just at the beginning. Uh, this looks like a very impressive exponential curve. I think we're at the beginning of this journey of discovery, and I for one am looking forward to the next 12 months to see what new exciting findings are going to emerge before our next annual meeting. Thank you very much.